Well, Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving suspended now for at least five games, Irving tweeting support of an anti-Semitic film. He grew up, though, in West Orange, which has a large Jewish population. News tells Brian Donahue met with Irving's former coach. As the moon rises over Jersey, the team from high school basketball powerhouse, the Patrick School, is hard at work. Inside the gym at the Young Men's Young Women's Hebrew Association in Union Township. They're here at the Y because floodwaters from Hurricane Ida last year caused massive damage to the school's own gym. The same gym, renovated in 2018 with money donated by the program's most accomplished alumni, Kyrie Irving. Now under fire and suspended by the Brooklyn Nets for promoting to his 4.6 million Twitter followers a film based on anti Semitic lies and hate. The scene here, where hoops players heading to practice past Jewish families taking their kids to daycare in the hallways, underscores a painful irony in the Irving saga. The fact that Irving himself owes no small part of his success to a unique partnership between New Jersey's Jewish community and its basketball community. It hurts. It hurts. The link between these two worlds is this man. Sandy Pionin, whose New Jersey Roadrunners AAU program based here at the Y has produced an astonishing 38 NBA players over the years, their pictures, including Irving's, lining the hallway to the gym. This was him also at my sister's house in Florida with their little dog. And I trained him every day. His father taught him the foundations. And then I took it from 8 to 12 to a level that it's hard to believe. Yes, of all those players whose pictures hang here, only one stood so far above the others, and only one now brings such pain. There's no excuse for what he did. He's a bright kid. He should have read up in what he was promoting. So for Coach Sandy, who is Jewish himself, the sense of betrayal cuts deep. But what he knows, too, is that this is not just about hurt feelings. In Irving's hometown of West Orange and across the state last week, synagogues were under tight security due to what the FBI called a credible threat. And in 2019, a gunman fueled by the same web of lies Irving is promoting killed three people in a Jewish-owned grocery in Jersey City. That's why the word's going out in the community with the Jewish community, we can't have this negativity. People could get hurt. People... People, people could die. That straight line between what Irving is promoting and the real violence it inspires stands clear and real on the same courts where he perfected his jump shot, even if it still isn't in his own mind. I have to shake my head. I have to shake my head. Brian Donahue, News 12, New Jersey.